I met Phyllis at an art exhibit in Cincinnati some 40 years ago, and she was the curator of art at Clausen's. The first time that I met Phyllis was at one of the Post Corbett Award events, and there was this incredibly elegant and um, gracious woman who couldn't have been nicer to me. I have met her a few times over the years. It's amazing to see how much energy and how much joy of life a person can have. I've just always known Phyllis. She's just always been um, a neighbor, a friend, somebody who's been around in my life, and uh, you know, a legend, always larger than life. Phyllis Weston is my idol. She is not only elegant and gracious and beautiful, but she is so savvy, she is so committed to Cincinnati and to the art scene, and at the same time, she is this legendary person who has had ex life experiences that I think most of us could just dream of. I think about, you know, here is this petite lady, I mean, just tiny in, in stature, but in passion and in determination and in devotion to art in this community, she's huge. Her house was always full of Stravinsky's or Balanchine's and people of that character. So I grew up taking for granted that artists are just great people. Phyllis and I are very involved with the opera. She's probably the biggest advocate for the opera that I've ever met. Enjoy the Arts was a program where students got discount tickets to the art events and it really made me have a passion for the arts and uh, I later learned that Phyllis was one of the co-founders of Enjoy the Arts. Phyllis is a, a role model because she loves great art and she's put together some of the finest collections but one of the greatest joys for me is to see Phyllis at Uptown Arts, our art center for children and she does not miss a recital. I think Phyllis has an undeniable uh, liking for people and she has a wonderful way of picking out a talent. This is a woman who will talk and be friends of anybody, no matter how modest they are, and she just enjoys the people. She's fascinating. My favorite thing is to sit and listen to her stories um, and understand the impact that she's made on, on different people in the community. That's her goal, is to make the arts um, center stage in, here in Cincinnati and I think she's done a really good job of it. What's unique about Phyllis Weston is that she comes from um, a very sophisticated and glamorous background. She has made Cincinnati her home however and she has committed her life to making Cincinnati a, one of the most desirable places to live in the country. An extraordinary woman. A very good friend. Remarkable human being. Inspirational. She's one of the greatest living Cincinnatians that we have. I have always been involved in all the arts. It's just part of my life and part of me. I have a great passion for art. I feel all the arts are married because you can't have one without the other. And that's what I found in Cincinnati. How would I sum up Phyllis's spirit? It's incredible energy and uh, incredible creativity and a love of people. Uh, she adores and just lives for and thrives uh, for being with people.